folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar Tavern blog. Up on the screen is none other than Dave Johnson. Dave is the main writer, designer for Star Frontiers. Never going to happen. Oh, Star Frontiers New Genesis. Um, now, this video is actually from November, but I think it's appropriate now because uh, there's a few things. It, it's supposedly in playtest. Now, let me uh, pull the curtain back for a second. Somebody, I, I've been doing well with anonymous uh, donors, sent me the PDF of the beta. Not necessarily the same beta that actually got printed, but I'm sure it's damn well close enough. And I will start leaking, sharing some of that stuff. And uh, I will share it as a scrolling PDF so folks know that I did not Photoshop anything. But um, I think that this is going to be an interesting video with Dave because it makes a few interesting points. So let's let's listen to Dave. A little bit. Hey, everybody, this is Dave Johnson. That I, I hope that uh, this is working better. Um, again, pure Dave. So, um, on the with the live streaming. Anyways, what I'd like to say is there. There's a. a by the way, what I'd like to say is I'm going to get motion sickness from Dave's movement, but neither here nor there. People complain that I, I don't shave. I understand that. People have commented that I am a low-tech YouTuber. I understand that. You're not going to get motion sickness from me. He's been talking about Star Frontiers. He's talking about Tabletop Taproom, Tom. And the efforts to bring back the game. Now, notice what he's saying. The efforts to bring back the game. There's no game to bring back because you don't own the intellectual property, the IP, the copyright. You may or may not. We'll see how the courts play this out. You may, via TSR, have the trademark. You're not bringing the game back. It's impossible for you to bring the game back into production and he's been namely really the cynical person uh tom is nobody as cynical as i am and i think that that type of cynicism and negative uh i swear to god i am going to get seasick negative uh coverage of the of the uh attempt or effort to bring the game back it, Again, bring the game back. You can't bring the game back. You don't own the IP. However, that being said, like I said, I, I have my hands in a PDF that I'm going to have to compare to my original Star Frontiers. I am not the expert on this stuff. I played Star Frontiers, what, 40 years ago? So It is really not needed. I mean, if he wants to play the original rules the rest of his life, that's fine, you know? But I, to me, his videos only say one thing, and that and that is he hates TSR in um, Lake Geneva. Well, first off, which other TSR were we talking about? Uh, secondly, uh, TSR has given us numerous reasons to dislike them, not the least of which is. Uh, Dungeon Crawl and Cults of Abaddon, which haven't shipped to people who have ordered it and is now sold out, right? Because it was 100 copies or so of the original box set and Justin can't get a printer to print more. So those that pre-ordered, including myself, who was a straw buyer, uh, we've been misled. Our monies have been used for other purposes. I don't know for what. Maybe for paying off... Uh, Lawyers on their legal action with Wizards of the Coast. So, Tabletop Tom, by the way, on his recent video suggests contacting the Better Business Bureau of Wisconsin and 
make a complaint. If you pre-ordered, what, five months ago now and nothing shipped, but copies were being sold at street fairs. That's all it says to me. It doesn't say anything about um, the idea that maybe, you know, a new version of the game might be coming out. Again, it can't be a new version of the game because you can't do Star Frontiers. You can, you can call it Star Frontiers. It can't be Star Frontiers. Like, if, I don't know, Star Trek somehow uh, lapsed and you snagged the trademark, you still can't build off the universe of Captain Kirk. Hey, that's great, in my opinion. Anything to bring back uh, something to the people and something that is uh, available now with new content. Available now with new content. It's implying that they're building off the old content. Again. To me, is something is good for the community. If you want to stay stuck in the past... Stay stuck in the past... But they want you to be building off that past because they need the people who believe in that past to buy their new not Star Frontier, Star Frontiers. Uh, with a system that no one really supports anymore. That's... No one supports it because it's not OGL. Right? It's out of print. However, now I'm hearing rumors and uh, apparently I am on uh, the Wizards of the Coast payroll. I'm not, but for those out there that believe in conspiracy theories, I've heard rumors that Wizards of the Coast has plans for Star Frontiers for the 40th anniversary, which would be coming up, I think, uh, in a year? Something like that. Hmm. So why would this be important? Well, it's fine. You know, people can create their own content for the, for the system, but I really don't know that the Star Frontier system is actually open content. And here's the thing. If you are are writing a game, if you claim to be a game designer in the OSR, uh, you should know what's open content and what isn't. So either Dave is lying and playing stupid, or uh, the other answer is Dave is stupid. Um. I don't know. That's a question I would have if I was going to write new material for Star Frontiers. I would ask, is it open content? Now, we do know that there is a open content license for D20. Okay. And I really feel strange to be schooled by Dave, but okay, Dave, keep on with the lessons. But if someone could tell me if there is an open content license for the original Star Frontier mechanics, I would like to see it. Uh, there is none, but also there's no open license to use their IP. Uh, is there SRD out there? Um, is Wizards of the Coast okay with people creating new content? Is Wizards of the Coast okay with uh, TSR? Uh, snagging a trademark and trying to build off their IP? Uh, I, I'm going to guess no. I could be wrong. The last time I heard was that um, Wizard Coast asked a lot of people to take down the content. So what I know now is that there is a a game or a magazine I guess that's probably which is going to go back to Tom. Star Frontiersman and the guy that is... Uh, oh, by the way, for somebody who's writing a new uh, edition version of Star Frontiers and is going to rip off or build off the prior IP, is this what they're doing? Um, you think he'd know a little bit more about what's going on currently with the legacy IP? Um, berating the new TSR is one of the so-called editors of this frontier. I never read the magazine. I'm not... Because he doesn't care about Star Frontiers, folks. Just so you know, this is a body. All right? Justin needed a body. We've already heard from others that have publicly stated that they were asked by Justin to write Star Frontiers, and they wisely said no. So Justin had to rely upon this mess to put together... The Star Frontiers New Genesis. 
and it's a hot mess. I'm not against a fan magazine of, at all. I think it's a great thing. But um, what I don't like is his negativeness, uh, his constant bashing and berating uh, of a new company that is hoping to bring back a lot of stuff. Bring back a lot of stuff. You can't. Let's listen. Uh, in my opinion, I don't know for sure, but it seems like that. And that's that's only can be a good thing. Only could be a good thing to bring back Star Frontiers, which won't be Star Frontiers. Can't be Star Frontiers, at least legally. You can call it Star Frontiers, maybe legally, but you can't build off the IP. So, John, or whatever your name is. Uh, to Tom, that's an insult because he's pretending you're not important enough to know your name. Jedi something or other. Uh, what? He, again, he is either playing dumb or is dumb. There, there. We could be both. All right, never mind. It's not either or. Um, stop editorializing. If you're going to report on new content, report on new content. Well, okay, here we are. That was November. It is now uh, July 18th. This was, I guess, uh, I think November 19th. So we are eight months later, right? Eight months later. What kind? What is there to report on? What has? What have we seen from Star Frontiers? This is a, except for some poorly written articles in Dave's own zine. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to dig into that uh, Star Frontiers new Genesis rules. We'll have to show the great work of Dave Johnson because Dave hasn't shown it, right? TSR hasn't shown it, but I'm sure you're all interested in the great work of this uh, imposing, uh, highly intellectual game designer. Uh, so we're going to we're going to have to do that, and I think we'll we'll start with. Um, Dave, I think we'll start with the races. I think that's what we will do. Or species. Maybe you named them species. I don't think you. I think you named them races. And we'll start with A and work our way up. How about that? How's that? That sounds good. And stop editorializing and stop bashing TSR. Stop bashing TSR. Don't leave Brittany alone. Leave her alone. Oh, come on, Dave. That's all I'm asking. So this kind of brings up a question, at least in my mind. Why are we even seeing Star Frontiers New Genesis? What is this attempt for? Uh, I am going to, and, and I know it upsets people. I mean, Justin doesn't like it when uh, Tenkar lies. I don't lie, all right? I'm going to theorize. I'm allowed to theorize. I'm going to theorize publicly. Here's my theory. Um, based upon Justin talking about mediation, he was expecting with uh, TSR right right around not, not too long after this video was recorded with Dave Johnson saying we're going to use Bridges of the Coast IP basically. Um, I do believe that the goal was never to publish this game. All right, Too many people turned down the opportunity to write for Star Frontiers New Genesis. Nobody wanted the opportunity. So Dave was not a first pick. He wasn't a second pick. It wasn't like, oh, we, we need a starter for our Major League Baseball team. Who's our best prospect in AAA baseball? This was like, all right, you know what? Uh, get get the 40-year-old uh, washout who's still playing single-A baseball, rookie ball, and bring him up because we don't have to pay him much. Just tell him he's doing a great job. We don't care if we're going to lose the game, because the point is not winning the game. The point here is not publishing a product. The point is keeping the trademark issue alive long enough to shake down Wizards of the Coast. Why would that be? Well, uh, I've heard rumors, and I'm sure Justin has too, that Wizards of the Coast has plans for Star Frontiers for like the 40th anniversary, which I think was like what next year. I don't, I'm not a huge Star Frontiers fan, but 
they've been keeping this trademark alive, or at least the attempt to secure it, because it only has value by ransoming it back to Wizards of the Coast. It doesn't have value as a game being published by TSR. If they sell 100 copies, I will be surprised. But they're not, they don't want to publish. They don't, he's not worried about quality game material. He just wants things slapped together. I have seen the beta version of uh, this train wreck. And I am not going to discuss specifics without being able to show you specifics. Because if I discuss specifics without showing it to you as a PDF that I can scroll on the screen and you know it's a live PDF and not Photoshop, um, it's the only way you will believe that anybody in their right mind was going to publish material like this. Again, the point was never to publish it. The point was to have enough to keep the trademark, I don't know, land grab alive. Again, this is my hypothesis. Justin, you want to prove me wrong? Put out a playable game. Please, something better than the beta that I see. Because, oh my God, what a wreck that is. And yes, yes, I do have a copy. Yes, yes. What can I tell you, man? Uh, I probably should break out my original Star Frontiers box set and do a side by side comparison for the IP violations. Although I have been assured there are numerous ones. Always got to put it in the TSR's hands like that, don't you? Folks, on that note, as always, we're in the midst of the pandemic. What does that mean? It means, please, use your common sense. All right? Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. I will be back again tomorrow. I don't know. Will it be another bag of shit? Will it, will it be the next part of the, uh, I don't know, the Ernie phone call? I mean, there's so much stuff to get to, and then news pops up and all the other excitement. But we'll have something interesting for you of that. I can pretty much guarantee you. Later, folks. Thank you.